Hi everybody, my name is Good Guy Mike. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another quick and dirty tutorial today on how to place furniture in houses. Okay, so with the last update, the biggest thing that they added to it was that you can now put furniture inside of houses. If you remember previously, you weren't allowed to put a bed or anything in there, which made the houses a little bit bland. Now, however, you can actually make yourself a nice little room like this one that I have here. As you can see, I have a bed and a chest and everything in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright, so first off you need to build something so all the building the things that you can build are built through construction Okay, those are all the different movable objects. So you're just gonna go right click make sure you have a um, Construction unlock or carpentry part of me carpentry unlocked make sure you have a saw equipped and you're just gonna construct furniture Most of these things in here can be constructed except for a handful So like the weapons rack and the armor stand still haven't been implemented yet and the throne doesn't or takes a uh, Type of material that you can't currently get in the current game. We need to wait till she Sheep show up okay so what you're gonna do though is you can actually right click just lift an object perfect and remember you're gonna move rather slow I recommend going into first person if you play in third person because it's gonna make it easier to move uh, maneuver around the house all right, so we're gonna go ahead, walk into the area. As you can see, this takes away your stamina pretty quickly, so you'll probably find yourself having to rest every now and then. Okay, here we go. Gonna let my stamina regain a little bit. Perfect. Now, once you get inside the area where you want to place your stuff, it's the same as when you place it outside. You're just gonna click on the floor spot that you would like to place it, maneuver the object, push it around a little bit, And you want to make sure that it's not poking through the wall because if it is then somebody can come by and take the object or activate the object from the other side of the wall and steal stuff from it. Okay, I'm going to place it right here and just like that I now have a wardrobe inside of my little room right here. Okay, the other cool thing that they did is that all, all objects that are creating carpentry can be placed in there including workbenches and alchemy tables. Okay, so you can actually put your alchemy table inside here or the other cool thing is it's not just houses actually it's also warehouses in any other um, area that normally wasn't allowed to place things in. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to lift this alchemy table, and I'm going to go put it inside my uh, my warehouse, because this is where I would keep most of my um, my different spices and alchemy regents, so I want quick access to them, and I want to make sure that people don't steal them while I'm, while I'm away. So I'm going to go ahead, put this inside of here. Alrighty, I think uh, this corner right here. Or this spot right here. Perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead, click on the ground once again. Sometimes it's a little bit buggy still. Come on now. One of the problems with the alchemy table is that you have to actually click on the ground where you're not clicking um, on there. Perfect. Drop an object. Alrighty. Now I can move it over, maneuver it around. And I just what I did there was I right clicked and selected drop an object. Okay. Move it right here. And then I'm going to slide it back towards the wall. So it's not stuck on that post. Perfect. Great. Okay. And place. And just like that, I now have an alchemy table inside of my warehouse. Alright guys, so thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. It was a new feature that was added and I was very excited about it. I hope you are too. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching guys. Like, share, subscribe. All tells me out. You guys, keep being good guys and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Hey guys, this has been a quick and dirty tutorial for Life is Feudal. If you enjoyed this, then let him know by leaving a like, favorite, subscribe, or commenting and asking what you want in the next tutorial. Anyways, thanks for sticking around guys. Go ahead and check out the actual series, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.